So here we go then with round five of Beat the Manager. Last week, fantastic. Sam Corcoran beat the manager, Lee Allenson. So it's 3-1. This week, Lee's challenger is Jonathan North, our new goalkeeper. John, how are you? Well, thanks, chaps. Good to see you all. Uh, a lovely start to my Saturday morning. How are you guys? <laughs> Excellent. And Lee, how are you this week? Are, are you kind of a bit chastened after, after your shambolic defeat in extra time last week? I was a bit disappointed on actually and looking back at <laughs> my last answer. God dear. It was a poor answer. Andy Sinton. Finishes now. But yeah. uh, no, I'm good. I'm well and um, disappointed with the weather change. But there you go. And uh, we'll just get on and uh, see what comes next week. I know you've been out on another bike ride this morning with Betty. Um, last time I've looked, heard, I think she's, she's raised over £15,000 now. Yeah, she's great. And... Um, there might be a, a little TV appearance for her next week, hopefully, and um, just to keep raising the awareness of what she's doing. Uh, we've had a message yesterday from, from Frankie Dettori and, and, and some of the celebrities that we've had over this week. It's just been, been amazing. So she's doing great. I just, we just literally went out and my mum and dad and Alfie come with us. And to be fair, mum's never done it before. She can't believe how difficult it is. So I think it just goes to show that what she's doing at five is, is truly remarkable, really, to be honest. So she's doing really well. And um, listen, with the amount of shirts we've got, we're still going to be going for a while at the moment. All those relationships now, we can have pre-season, we can have a whole kind of season of pre-season friendlies against clubs up and down the country. It's been incredible. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? I mean, I'm trying to arrange a few like South Shields away. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Up north and uh, oh, yeah. Newcastle, the boys will like that one. But um, as I say, we'll, we'll see what happens. And uh, yesterday, I think, yeah, it was yesterday, it was your better half's birthday. Sure and was. You've, yeah. been very, you've been very romantic, haven't you, Mr. Allenson? I'm always romantic, mate. <laughs> what, what, always tell us that. what you did. Tell us what you did with the card. Everyone's going on about this card. What, what card? Didn't you send a card with all full of loving messages and stuff? I'm embarrassed, Lee. I'm always doing that. Like, I just you? nice pictures on the card and done a nice little video for her and, and, and treated oh. her some nice earrings and some money. And, you know, got to look after, oh. look after the wife. She looks after me all year round, so I feel I can spare a day to make her birthday nice and special for her. To be well, fair, that... Lee, when you punch in, you've got to, you've got to put a bit of <laughs> <laughs> You've got to try. You've got to do something. <laughs> John, what have you what have you been doing during during lockdown? What what's what do you, what do you do work wise? Um, I'm digital communications manager at UK Sport, so we sort of strategically invest DCMS and National Lottery funding into Paralympic and Olympic sport. Um, probably got a really clear understand there, haven't you? Um, but no, so we work sort of with Olympic and Paralympic sports um, in the build up to Olympic and Paralympic games. So um, we've been busy actually, obviously with a postponement of Tokyo. Um, this year so I've got to find a new reason to miss games in August which is a shame <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah so no we, we, I've been keeping busy um, uh, during yeah unusual time so all well this then thank you excellent good stuff all right well we'll ask some more questions as, as we go through so uh, John we need you to win this week to get, yeah. get to 3-2 <laughs> uh, as, as long as I can use Google like Cork yeah, that's fine. Like, I'm not sure how to I'm not sure how we got away with that. <laughs> no, no, cheating's absolutely allowed. Can we oh, just have a check? Uh, Lee, can we just have a look at your bedroom uh, and yeah, just check Luca that... isn't hiding anywhere this oh, week? Luca, that's the love nest. That was another. That was another <laughs> thing which bothered me last week. Actually, when you started talking about Luca helping you out under the table, I thought, <laughs> 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 what are you on about here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, um, right. I'm, I'm so, not. I'm not a great quizzer, and I'm not actually. I got sent through the um, Arsenal. I'm not. I'm not a massive sort of football fan, so I could struggle here, but I'll do, no, I'll do my All best. No, I'll do my best. Well, we'll see how we don't, go. Don't, um, ask, don't ask me how many holidays Northie has a year, because he has <laughs> quite a few. That's so, question uh, one. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> All right, Steve, right, you've got so, to be careful. Of. <laughs> all right, guys. So, uh, are you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, Lee. So, question one for you. And this is, and a couple of your questions, Lee, this week are uh, kind of Hendon history. So, I hope, uh, I hope oh, you know. Boy. So, question one for Lee. The Bulgarian international, Boncho Gwencha, played for Hendon in two spells. Spell it. How many other Gwenchevs have played for the club league? <laughs> oh, it's easy. I've got that. Come on, Lee. I'm going to say, I'm, not, I'm positive his son played. I played against him. It might be his son. It might be his uncle or something. So I'll say pff, one other. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, there, there were two. There was 
um, there was Lubo, That's who was still one. playing, possibly, possibly still is playing. Yeah. And I and Ivor. Um, That's right. And, and the really weird thing was at, at the end of the 2006-2007 20, season, um, Ivor and Boncho played for Hendon in the same team. It's the first time I believe that's ever happened People that a father, father and son played in the same team. Okay. But he was fat, he was lovely. Uh, I was doing telly in those days, and we interviewed him for ITV's London Tonight. He used to live literally just down the road um, from Claremont Road. So that's one question down, uh, Lee. Is that, 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 is, is, it, is, it, yeah. is that an actual question? <laughs> was like, no, it doesn't mean nothing. Hey, man, hang on a minute. I've spent at least five minutes working these questions out. God, oh, I love it. That yeah. me to lose. <laughs> Come on, Lee. Let's see what I've got. Come on, the other guests aren't normally that cheeky, Mr. North. How do you, how do you, <laughs> well, not, as long as it's not that difficult for me. Uh, well, What's the manager's uh, name? <laughs> Faye. Yeah. John, whatever answer you give, trust me, because if we want you to win, it will be the right, right answer. Right, okay. question one for This is tough for you, okay? Uh, this, right. is, this isn't easy. Um, did you ever play at Claremont? Did you ever play or go to Claremont Road, John? No, I was thinking this actually the other day. <laughs> I wasn't, but um, <laughs> I, think my, I think my first, first when I first played against Hendon was at, um, was it Wembley? When, Wembley. Yeah, Wembley Bell I, Farm. That was it, yeah. So I think it, that, that was probably only, that must have been 2010. So it's probably only a year or two after, wasn't it? Okay. All right. Uh, so your first question, John, I don't think you're going to find this very easy. <laughs> I thought that was the question. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, which former Arsenal manager, and he was a Northern Ireland international, and I think he was a left back. I'm doing the best I can. Had a sports bar named after him when Hendon played at Claremont Road. So this is going back a bit of time. He was a Northern Ireland international and he was a left back. Left back. That doesn't matter. Um, the only sports bar I know is Lineker's. Not sure it's that. Um, <laughs> um, as far as I'm aware, Gary Lineker isn't Irish. He might be. Oh, that's tough. Um, any, any, any thoughts? I'm Anybody thinking... there? That can... Is Luca in your house? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> um, the yeah, only. It's... Oh mate, you've. you've... It's a hard one, isn't it? it is, yeah, it's tough. Um, okay. I'll go the with the only one I can think of Ooh. is um, Kyle Lafferty. Did he play for Arsenal? <laughs> He's more of an Irish, though. <laughs> half, half... <laughs> hey. Half a point for Northern Irish. He's, he's... We had a gardener that came from Ireland once. We never had a sports bar named after him at Hendon. Oh, Nor God. did he ever play for oh, Arsenal. What? That's my Andy Sidman question. <laughs> I give up. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I okay, love look, it. Just there. Oops. Oh, hang on. My phone's gone off now. It's waiting so long for you to... Oh, dear. Oh, I think he's going to say Liam Bailey <laughs> or something like that. Oh, Liam Bailey is a good shout. There you go. Can you, you see that? Oh, it, was Terry, it was Terry Neal's sports bar. Terry Neal. Terry Neal's. That was next. Oh, I oh. really like Cole Lafferty. <laughs> <laughs> he is more than Irish, isn't he? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was, uh, that right. was uh, we forget about right. it. You can edit okay, it. Okay, so it's a, fl it's a flying start then. Uh, two questions. Uh, nil oh, point so yeah. far. So, Lee, your question number two. And it's about another former Hendon player. So, which former... Scottish and Liverpool centre forward played for Hendon. Which former Scottish international and Liverpool centre forward played for Hendon Lee? When? Um, no, no, no. no, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, no, a long no. time ago. And there's a funny story about him, which I'll tell you in a second. He was very famous. Kenny Dalglish. Not quite. Sure. Um, John, just out of curiosity, any thoughts? No, God, no. Okay. It was David Speedy. Do you, remember, do you remember David? He had a terrible temper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, so at, the t at the time, I was working on Saturdays. I was a football reporter for BBC Radio London. And I kind of worked my way up the ladder and I was doing the top stuff. But I also occasionally let me do a Hendon game. And there was no like Premier League that Saturday. And I said, look, can I, let me go to Hendon. I'll get David Speedy for you. And they said, look, all right, you can go. We don't really want Hendon. But if you, if you, if you go, we let you go to Hendon, you've got to promise to get David Speedy. Ten minutes in, he got sent off <laughs> and refused to talk to us. <laughs> right. Okay, three questions down. Uh, Lee, nil point. 
Right, come on, Not John. Chance. We need you to get this one. Question on. two for you. Uh, name two of the sides that Arsenal have been in the FA Cup so far this season. Two of the sides that Arsenal have been in the FA Cup so far this season. Great question. Very good question. Bit more modern as well, which I like. Um, I actually know one of them. I'm going to lock one answer in. Okay. With, I remember watching it on TV, actually. Portsmouth away. Yeah, so that's um, one. Awful game. Um, the so other one. One of the other two. It's only been three. Bloody hell. Two um, three. The other one I'm thinking, it was either, I, I got offered tickets, actually, but I was oh. working. And it was, it was either League Cup. Is it League Cup? League Cup. Um, or the FA Cup. And I think it was the FA Cup. So I'm going to go with the mighty, mighty Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Oh. Well done. In there. Look at that. Through there. gritted teeth. Yes. Through gritted teeth, Leeds clapping. I'm asking clap. lots of questions when I weren't even around. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Good question. Very good. Very good question. Thank you very much. That's all right. So, well done. So, so, John, you, t talk us a bit about, about your Wheelstone days. You were, you were there for a very long time, 10 years. It's such a long time. It was why, a long time. Why, why, why did you leave? What made you leave? <laughs> God, well, I'm a bit early for this. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a bit stronger, we could go into some good details. <laughs> um, oh, no, it, it was one of those. I think I got injured on sort of the first game of pre-season. Um, and I, we had the new managers in. I actually came back moderately fit because I thought new managers have got to try a bit here. Um, and then got injured, for, literally first game of pre-season, um, away at Hayes and Yedin. And then they got the lad in from Norwich, who is literally, he's a, he's a young man, well, Noyo, it was, it was annoying, sort of first session, I looked at him, I thought, bloody hell, he's good. You know, through great safe, you're like, oh, he's, he's decent. But, um, and then he played really well, and he stayed in, and obviously they, they, they've done an, had an amazing season. Um, so yeah, just didn't really get another chance after that. And then I, I, I didn't really want to, like I say, 10th season and I didn't really want to go out sort of the rest of the year on bad terms or sort of with any sort of real bad noise around it or not in the squad so I just thought it was probably best to get out sort of what was it just after Christmas time in the new year um so yeah no it was it was a shame to go because obviously I loved it there um but yeah these things happen so um <laughs> and yeah that's the diplomatic answer <laughs> okay and what was the uh, and what was the attraction of um uh, of Lee. Now, I think, well, uh, <laughs> the attraction well. of Lee, I better rephrase that ever so slightly. <laughs> now, I, I, have you ever, are you on social media with him by any chance, John? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I am. And I remember it, the first time I sort of came across Lee was that game, Billy Ricky away in the trophy when I was at Wildstone. Um, and we ended up losing that one, actually. Um, and I remember that, it was horrible, wasn't it, Lee? It was like, it was the worst yes, like, condition. Yeah, the worst you if made, I met, you made the save of the century, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well, this, this is what I remember. So then after the game, I was on my way home, cold, bit annoyed we'd lost and everything, and sort of, a sort of tweet came through. He's like, Lee tweeting, saying, I'm not one of those managers to never tweet after a game, um, but great save, blah, blah. So I replied saying, thanks, well, that's nice. And they'll give him a follow. Next Saturday, I'm not a manager to tweet after games, but a great win for the boys. I'm playing with it. Next weekend, I'm not a manager. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, that was the first time. And then obviously with Hendon, it's half half the old Wilstone boys are boys are there. So you sort of speak to a few lads and, and to be fair, um, it was all sort of really positive things said. Um, which was good. And, uh, you know, I'm, at Wilson, I was, I was really lucky to play under Gordon for so long, for most of my time there. And, and that really, for me, sort of just solidified the need to play for someone that you sort of like and enjoy playing with. Um, and I think that's, that's why I sort of I, I saw it as the right thing to do. And <laughs> I can't really comment yet because I've played two and a half games. And, <laughs> and they didn't go that well. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so looking forward to cracking on the game. So, 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 I mean, obviously, you know, you know, coaching is a big part of it. And I don't know if Lee does uh, any of your coaching. But um, I understand if you're a social media, um, you know, fan with Lee, this week, and we, we've had singing, haven't we, Lee, in the past? Had singing, mate. Um, tremendously out of tune uh, racket singing, which is brilliant. This week, it's been another joy. We've moved on from singing to dancing, haven't we, this week, Lee? I thought I can do a bit of dancing, mate. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> is Just that dancing? Lost, mate. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, oh, that carry on. I mean, look what a nurse that, for heaven's sake. I'm going to have to stop getting Faye to post videos up, mate. <laughs> you were asking for it. <laughs> now, now, listen, from my, from my point of view with Northie, I think he's, um, I've, I've played against Northie for years now, and 
He's one of them keepers. He ain't the biggest. And he always thinks, stick it under the bar. And we used to oh. stick it under the bar and come and catch it. We'd have a shot of goal. He'd save it. And he'd drive you mad. And I think when someone like him becomes available, it's, it's a no-brainer. And we haven't seen the best of him yet at a football club. I feel for him because he's had a real difficult season. He's left the club that he's been at from when he left Watford. He's been at the same club. But when we get back, I think we've got, well, I know we've got the best keeper in the league. So, you know, once we see the best of him and obviously he come back, he hadn't trained. He was just about to play. He comes down with what we think was the, probably the coronavirus. Yeah, he was exactly. really, really ill. Play against Truro. He's been sick at half time. We go to Taunton. We just play. We go on the Saturday and I thought he played really well on the Saturday. He was starting to get a little bit sharper and um, uh, against and then knocks himself clean out. And you're like, oh, you know, what a tough start to, to being at the football club. It was, I should have seen sort of a global pandemic coming really to end the season. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. <laughs> it reminded me of, um, who was the lad years back? I think he signed for Southampton and he, and he convinced them that he was like George Weir's cousin. That's right. Oh, that's I reckon, right. I reckon and he got not play. I'm, I'm Jonathan North's younger brother who's never played good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, when we get back and we get him properly fit, we got, we got the best keeper in the league by, by a mile. No, oh, no yeah. doubt. Well, the, uh, when we're getting back, uh, and when we're back, we've got the best keeper in the league by a mile. If you don't get the next question right, Mr. Lee, uh, Alison, it's going to 3-2. Oh, no. You ready? Go on, So then. your hey, third hey. and final question, Lee, which you must get right. How many clubs has Jonathan played for, including loan deals? How, how far back we go? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that one was an easy one for you. So hold on. So are we talking his non-league career? Because I don't know what what happened at Watford. Okay, well that's one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Wildstone. Yeah. Chesham. Yeah. Hendon. Yeah. I'm looking for, but I can work out two more. Oh fuck me. Oh. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> there may be more than two more. I'll let you get one out of the next two. Who did you say so far? Uh, we've got Chesham, Hendon, Wealdstone, and Watford. And I and I've I don't know if yeah. it's right or not, but I found two more. Two more, yeah, you're right. It is two more. Uh, one, one's in Hartford. <laughs> one's in Hertfordshire, Lee. Yeah. Mm. Playing equivalently to Hendon now, and one's a bit down the M40. I'm trying to help you. A fair bit down the M40. In the in the conference south, yeah, in the conference south, yeah. <laughs> Off Come on, Lee, we can't make it any easier for you here. Uh, we, are we talking, um, um, were these loans when you was at Watford, Northey? The one of them, the one in the Conference South now is when I was at Watford. The other one was, yeah, when I came back from a broken leg at Wilson. I was like, <laughs> it was a short-lived one as well. I think it was only about 10 games, so tough oh, one. Yeah. Mm. Come on, Lee. You this can't is, be going down. This is huge. Not even a tie break this Without week. Without even Come a tie on. break. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, dear. Oh, you're dear. awful dancing. You can't get a single. <laughs> I mean, you've never not got a single question right on one of these. Clearly, you didn't do your research on me, Lee. It's Loud Town. I didn't hear that, Lee. I didn't. I, 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 there's something wrong with hearing. <laughs> no, don't use those words again. <laughs> That's driving me mad. Down the Come M40. On. One's down the M40. And, and the other one, the other one, the other team play partly in similar colours to Henry. Yeah, that's a good shout. That's a good clue. That's the Hertfordshire lot. Hertfordshire yep. mob. Hertfordshire? It is Hertfordshire, isn't it? It is. Up the A1M. Turn left. Come on, Lee. Do -do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> How much longer should we give him, John? I've got, I've got a tee off in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My head's gone quick. Come on, Lee. Up the A1M, turn left. Yeah. Yeah, bit, yeah. Bit chuck a left in, shot over the roundabout, town yeah. centre, chuck a right, mm. opposite the park. Yeah, it's quite old. Yeah, it's quite old fashioned there. Nice, isn't it? Very nice, nice little ground. Yeah, nice, yeah, little, ground. nice little ground. Yeah, enjoyed playing there. It's, it's one of the top grounds, isn't it, John? Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, see what we've done there. Come on, Lee. Oh, I can't, I'm, I'm absolutely gone. I'm absolutely gone. Wow. Oh, blimey. <clears throat> this is worse I than think... my Kyle Lafferty. Okay, we've got... Oh, hold on, got... hold on. Five more seconds, Lee. Um. Luca! <laughs> <laughs> Alfie, Alfie's round. Alfie. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst question. I'm about to lose, Alfie. Hold he's, on. He's my goalie coach. He should know. <laughs> All right, chaps. All right, oh, how are you? Oh, I've come in to give him hand. Is that allowed? I'm he about needs to lose. It. He, he needs, needs a miracle, not a hand. <laughs> 
Hey, you're gone. You're on a bad losing streak. Down the A1. Yeah, down, down the A1. A1. <laughs> Quite a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but what we're talking north A1 or south? <laughs> north. John, can you you can meet up with your mates on the fourth hole? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. And it's really too windy to play golf anyway. North. <laughs> it is raining actually. I'm, I'm not sure about this. Come on, Lee. Right, this is your very last five seconds. Five. No, I'm done. Four. Can't believe no. it. You go have a guess. One more guess. Quite a long way up the A1. Yep. Top, near top. to Stevenage. Near to Stevenage. Very near Stevenage. Yeah. Top little ground. What? Yeah. He's not going to get it, is he, John? Oh, great. Oh, Hitchin. Well done. Uh, <laughs> no clue there. No oh, clue. Yes. <laughs> they don't wear green. They wear yellow. Green and yellow. We, oh. about, we were talking about the goldie kit. I wore a green oh, goldie kit. And where, was the one, <laughs> where was the one on the M40? Oxford City. Oxford City. Oh, I've never got yeah, that. Oxford, that's a t- that, was, that was on loan from Watford, so that was a tough right. one. Right. I'm, I'm thinking Slough played at Beaconsfield, didn't they, for a little while? Oh, uh, dear. Oh, no, you're wrong, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and Lee, both, both myself and John were giving you clues because Hitchin play at a ground called Top Field. Top Field. And oh, I yeah, used the word Top I'm once, and so did yeah. John. I yeah. still was gone. I was yeah. Oh, it was a good little ground, actually. No, yeah. I, only hit, I think I did about, like I said, it was a year when I came back from the broken leg. And I did about 10 games there. Um, well, I can't remember what league they would have been in then, but yeah, nice little ground. That wouldn't mind a pre-season. They were, they, were, they were Isthmian League with Hendon for years. And then a few years ago, they kind of moved off into right. yeah. whatever else they're in. All good right. Question. So oh, with, 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 with no help at all there. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. Right. Uh, Jonathan North, this to win. Okay. Right. This to, to make oh, it three two for the place. How many times you, you can't get this one wrong? How oh, many times in the last ten years did Wealdstone reach the FA Trophy semi final? Oh, and you must have played in it. Both. Of you. <laughs> I'm glad you, you didn't. I'm yeah, glad the trophy's you, going Lee, again. I'm glad you didn't say how many times did Wealdstone make the FA Trophy final, which I yeah. think you're going for on stage. Um, yeah, I should get that one. Assuming we're not meaning, because they were double legged, so I'm assuming we're not meaning how many times we've played in it. It's just how many no. times we've reached the semis. Um, we yeah, did the quarters once and the semi finals. My final answer, Jeremy, for a million pounds, is two. Correct! And oh. you've won! Well, Get done, in. Good Thank you very much. Thank Would you, you very like much. to hand over the trophy oh, again, Lou? This is becoming a habit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a good looking trophy, that. <laughs> Tell you. Going right in the mental Tre- piece. Tremendous. John, how are, you fe- how are you feeling after this? Yeah, really pleased. I think it was oh, a deserved win. Um, yeah, no, I think it's, uh, it's good, good morale for the boys to get the wins in, so. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. And, and, and Lee, a second successive defeat. Just look at your face, it's pain. We're on the ropes, so. mate. We're tired. We started the season too quick. Yeah, you went off too quick. It went well. But uh, we need a couple of new signings in to freshen the spot up, I think. <laughs> Who did yeah. I say for next week? Eddie. Oh, that'd be interesting. So, so you, you're playing next week to try and make it 3-3 is Eddie Oshoddy? Yeah, like I said, said earlier, I just want to check he's right, really. You know, as in, you know <laughs> make sure he hasn't gone off the, uh, off the rails again, so fingers crossed. <laughs> and are we yeah. going to get a bit of a fashion statement with him on? Because he's a bit of a natty dresser, isn't he? Well, hopefully he might wear his vest. I might get him to wear his vest next week. <laughs> oh, All right, well, yeah, I'll miss well John, lovely to see you. That's you looking so well. Thank you very much and thank yeah, you for winning. As well. Oh, always, yeah, pleasure. Unlucky, lad. Good day, uh, golf, and, uh, Yeah, cheers. Uh, uh, hopefully, we'll hopefully, we'll see you again uh, very soon when we can. Hopefully, we'll all get some football. But well yeah, done. Not and, too uh, soon. <laughs> thank you very much. Well done. And uh, oh, lucky, Lee. Let's hope it's three on next week. Thank you very much. Have James. a good day. Have a good day. See you, Bye-bye. mate. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.